Hi there. I'm Spike Shell, and let's keep playing Final Fantasy 2. Leveled up a little bit off screen, uh, had to get my holy spell to a more reasonable level for fighting the final boss. Got Warp and Banish up to level 10, so now they pretty much have 100% accuracy on all targets. As long as the target isn't immune, that is. There wasn't any treasure on that previous floor I wanted. Nor this one, for that matter. Ah. There. But there is a boss fight on this floor that I'm gonna do. That's hidden inside one of the chests. Oh! All the time I was leveling up my, uh... Holy spell, this warp 10 didn't miss a single time. That's new. Some more HP and endurance. Eh. At this rate, I might break a thousand. Here's a cat claw dagger. What? There's also the blue dragon. Just gonna get rid of it. He's just like the other dragons, only I think that one's lightning elemental. So. The Jade Passage also has some monsters with special abilities that actually do hit and damage Virion here, which makes them somewhat dangerous on a solo run, since you basically take multiplied damage from them. But, you basically should be getting Warp and Vanish off before they get a turn anyway, so... Um, so really they should only be able to get you with maybe one if Warp misses a target and they just so happen to use their ability. Got the Rune Axe. And the King Behemoth. I'm pretty sure this guy's only got physical attacks, so he's not really a threat at all. Just gonna steal some HP and see if he's got any MP. Nope, none. They really should have made more bosses immune to this sort of thing. But since they didn't, they're all just that easy. Yeah, walking underneath those waterfalls causes a damage, um, well, uh, one damage per step underneath it. In here we got the final shop of the game, sells Doom, Berserk, Haste, and Flare spells. All really good spells. I think the right door is this one. Yeah. There's a few treasures on this floor I'm going to be getting. Eh, yeah, backstabber. Really only grabbed that chest because it was close. But right in here, there's the Dragon Mail, the Aegis Shield, and the Holy Lance. The Holy Lance is the best lance in the game. The Dragon Armor is a good heavy armor. And the Aegis Shield, I'm pretty sure, is a heavy shield, so I won't be equipping it. But it gives, um, resistance to fire, bolt, and ice. But here we get the Yoichi Bow, which is the best bow in the game. And the Red Dragon. Uh, I don't think I need to drain anything from it, so I'll just banish him. Another one down. And getting close to being done with this particular 
part of the dungeon here. Um, what does this say? Know this, future wayfarers? Beyond lies the path to hell. Well, isn't that a pleasant little note? Here we got a high potion. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that so that I don't start clogging up my inventory. As you can see, I have a lot of elixirs. And over here we get a Protect Ring. Pretty sure the Protect Ring is a light piece of armor and it protects against instant death. So I'll be putting that on. Although I might be wrong, who knows? Those elemental dragons are random encounters around here now too. Here's another high potion. Heck, I just ran into a green dragon there. Makes for opportunities for some really nice drops. But really, the final dungeon is divided into two dungeons. This one, and also the part that's right through here. Pandemonium. Well, I'm not sure if you could walk through any of those walls on the right side, so I'm just gonna go all the way around. Just ran into a couple of Mithril Golems. They're um, immune to being warped away, but they also only have physical attacks, so you can just whittle them down with Holy. They're also weak to bolt if you have it. You can also run into like Lamia Queens and the such around here. Also, again, there might be spots you can walk through the walls here. But again, I just find it faster to go the long way than check every single wall. You can also run into the next step up of Godos. I think they're called Blood Fiends. But nothing around here is that much of a threat since almost all of it is susceptible to just warp or banish. There is a treasure on this floor, but it's just an elixir. I already have that. through a passageway there. I have that one memorized, but uh, really I have enough elixirs. I don't need any more. Here we come to the central treasure hub of this dungeon. Basically all the best treasure in the game leads away from these doors. I'm gonna go in the far right one first. the Genji armor, the best armor in the game. But it's also heavy armor, so I'm not going to be using it. And here we have Beelzebub. I'm going to try warping him away. Yep. I wasn't sure if he was immune or not. Really, he's not very tough anyways. I think he only has the basic elemental spells, really. But that door there leads onward, so don't want to go in there yet. Gonna go from left to right now. There are plenty of hidden passages around this place. But I don't really remember where they are. Ah. Here we get the Genji gloves. Best gloves in the game. There's also Zombie Borgen. 
don't know why it's calling him Zombie Borgen 1 there. But as you can see, he's immune to being warped away. I think he's only weak to fire. Yeah, he's only weak to fire. have to heal up after that. It's quite the spell for him to have. He's really the weakest of the guys guarding these treasures, but he can surprise you. nothing but boss monsters like the elemental golems and dragons, but um, I think I'm going to call it at that for this video, and I'll meet you back at the four doors for next time. I'm Spike Shuff, and I'll see you next time. Laters.